we what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie Beer all day. I got some news. I got some news. Um, so if you've been following things and you've seen the short, you will know that I designed a uh, a wakizashi, not a not your common everyday Japanese wakizaki uh, wakizashi, uh, but more of it's a mix between the Japanese style wakizashi and a European sword in the in the way that it's not longer than a normal walkie. It's walkie length, but it's going to be a little thicker, a little bigger, a little heavier. So basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a traditional style Japanese weapon, but I wanted to mate it with the power and in, in brute hitting strength of a European weapon, like a gladius or something like that. So... I came up with this design to be the best of both worlds. So for traditional katana guys, you're going to say, no, wait, wait, way wrong. It's too, it's too heavy. It's too, of course it is. But it's because I want it to be able to hit. I want the versatility of a Japanese style katana type weapon, that kind of sword. But I want to be able to like, if somebody's wearing chain mail, I want to be able to crack a head. The, the greatness of a katana is light and quick that's what it is slash stab accuracy that's exactly what it is where your european swords are made for going through shields and busting through lines of of guys protected with big giant shields and, and going through armor um so the two swords were built for completely different purposes and i thought how cool would it be to have one that could do both so you get that traditional look of a Japanese weapon, aside from the, the traditional looks in the handle. Um, but you get tra tra uh, traditional bang power as you're going to get from a European sword. So this is going to appeal to people on both sides of the alley. If you love a straight up Japanese katana, you're going to probably dig the look of this thing. Um, if you love swinging a big heavy sword then you are going to freaking love this thing um i actually just got done doing the write-up for it and um before i even do the write-up what i want to do is i'm going to show you real quick just a little preview of what it looks like hold on nice it is nice so here's the deal it, it they're all done and i believe one already went in the mail to come to me to do the video so what happens is when i do a blade with khhi they don't put it on their website until i do all my photos i do my write-up and i do the video then what they do is they take all that they press it together put it into a a page and they put it up and that's it and i never know when what day it's going to go up it's just when they finish it not this time so khhi is having under this ownership their 33rd anniversary um so on their 33rd anniversary they want to release this sword which is awesome so it's going to be a really cool deal it's going to be big for them so that is happening on february 24th so, so the release for this sword is going to be february 24th it's the only time I've ever known when it's going to be released exactly. So this is pretty exciting. Um, now, I told you I did the write-up of all that. And I'm going to give you a little bit of, of the write-up. And then I'm going to show you what I think is going to come next with KHHI. And a lot of people are going to be excited because I, crap you not, I constantly constantly get asked when i'm going to do my version of this knife it's gonna be well it's gonna be a big one but it's gonna be a big one man it's i think schwarzenegger um get to the chopper so uh so this sword is called the d-bad uh, yakuza's revenge and in the write-up i just put uh the european samurai 
Imagine, if you will, a Japanese wakazashi that hits like a Roman gladius. A Yakuza henchman busting chainmail like a galloping knight. With this sword, the blade angles of a katana come together with the might and uh, the might of an arming sword. I wrote it. I have to read it. I don't remember what I wrote. Uh, it's the wrecking ball. Uh, it's the wrecking ball. History is kicking themselves for not forging. So here at the Cuckoo House, we've decided to rewrite history. So that is my opening to the uh, to the sword. Then it says, "What's so special about the blade? With a blade length of twenty four inches, its stance is perfect for a zombie slaying wakizashi." That's what I designed it for originally was a zombie because everybody knows that my waki is my what I would use for a zombie tool. And I thought, how can I make it better for zombies? Because sometimes you got to get through them thick heads. Needed something a little heavier. So uh, zombie slaying wakizashi at seven millimeters thick and 1.7 inch, uh, seven, five inches wide. Uh, it provides all the power of a Roman sword. Use uh, all the power of a Roman's sword using 5160 steel. We capture all the rugged strength a blade, um, a blade like this needs to cut and crush all in its path. Uh, and then I put what is the grip? Uh, bringing this sword into a modern age was a must. Nine inch micarta scales are pinned onto a true full tang, leaving no weak points and helping carry the balance of this hefty blade. Uh, a welded guard not only protects the user, but unlike traditional Japanese swords, will never loosen or rattle. The Makarta uh, will not only never shift or fray, but it's an all-weather user and is custom-made in-house. Um, and then the final thing I wrote was the sheath or saya is a beautiful combination of Japanese and Nepalese functional art. The sweet, long, and narrow blade-hugging curves of the katana's covering are paired with a gorgeous hand-stitched buffalo hide that is not only that not only boasts the crossed kukri logo, um, but is also able to be belt-carried. I think that's huge. So that's my write-up on this blade, so you can get an idea of what was going inside my head when I designed this. I didn't want, and all the traditional guys are, it's not traditional, you're not getting a traditional wakizashi. You are getting a badass big beef, beefy waki that you can take to the jungle and carve a path like with a machete. Um, but then you can use it in battle against zombies and Bigfoot. So, um, so it's gonna be really cool. This is going to be a reach all audiences type of sword. Um, it's going to be awesome now. Let's get into what I have coming next. And I'm going to show you the, com uh, the concept art it is really cool. But before I do that, I just got to tell you one thing. I just got a, um, an email from my guys over at Croco Knives. The, uh, the folders are pretty much done and they're just wrapping everything up. Uh, so my folder is going to be a reality very soon. My first ever folder and now my first ever sword and... Well, uh oh, I just hit a button and lost what I was going to show you. I now I have to find it again. Um, do, 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 do. It's way down here. Look at that. I'm so good at this whole recording crap. You get to just, here we go. All right. So this one has been often and more often requested. So I'm finally bringing it to you all the time. I get D bad. When are you going to do a predator knife? When? Are you going to do a predator knife? And well, here it is. So I did a couple, um, a couple versions of this before I finally landed on this particular blade. Uh, the original version I did, I completely scrapped because what I did was I left the original grinding. So the original grind, um, it was swedged here and swedged here, and then here, there for like like three quarters of an inch under an inch, whatever it had this grind that was, that carried your entire edge bevel and it was really short. And I'm thinking, well, uh, that sucks. And the, and the reason I never bought one of these knives is because I was never a fan of the predator knife because of the grinds, not only the grinds, but it was a sub hilt, which I am no fan of. Um, and it was a rat tail. And it wasn't just a rat tail, but the original, it came like this, had a little square here. And then the rat tail bent. It was a curved rat tail. If you've ever taken apart the handle of one of those Predator knives, you're going to see a curved rat tail. I am not about A, the rat tail, and B, a curved rat tail. I am 
even worse about. Not only that, but it was it has like three or four pieces in a grip. So if anything loosens, everything loosens. Um, and I was not about that. So what I really needed to do was change the grinds. And when I say change the grinds, I mean completely. So I'm going with a full flat grind because I want to be able to control the weight going into the blade. And if I left it like the original, and here is going to carry a full stock of steel, the width of the, the steel, and it is going to be an extremely heavy blade. And the, the math just doesn't add up right. And if anybody knows me, the math has to measure. So doing it this way, um, I was able to add the choil, add the um, uh, blah, 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 um, add, add these areas that are shaved down um, the swedging and really reduce the weight into here. Now, this is not a fuller. This is just the um, Nepalese. It's very common with Kukri to have this stamped in. It's just a design stamped into the blade just to take your eyes to a center focal point, which is, as an artist, that's what you do. Um, this blade is going to be really, really sick. So obviously you're looking at 21 inches overall, 5,200 steel, eight millimeters thick. Um, it's going to be flat grinded with swedges. The guard is welded. We are going with the, um, the house made micarta. Um, everything about this thing is going to scream bad ass. Now the size is pretty much like the original predator as far as length. The, only part that is original predator is I'm going with the predator cut. I didn't do it modified. Um, from there, every single part of this knife is different. The grip completely and far off way, way different. I went with a strap hole instead of a lanyard hole. Um, we'll see how that goes in production. Um, but this right here, the D-Bad Predator buoy or Predator Machete, this thing is going to be absolutely nasty. I mean, nasty. It's going to be a hitter straight up with that classic profile, that Predator profile, but just way better. The grinds alone, just going to a full flat rather than that goofy grind. And I'll show you what I mean. All right. So this is, this is pretty much it right here. This grind right here is, it's, it's this big. It's this big, and that's where your entire edge is coming from. Um, and the fact that I don't even think this is even. I think they're they're slightly off, which makes it look even goofier. Um, I was never a fan of that. One thing I did change in the grind is this position right here. I don't understand that. I don't understand why you wouldn't start this back here. It doesn't make any sense to the eyeball. It It, it made for a really goofy look. And I wasn't a fan. The guard, I think, is absolutely horrendous. I, I hate the guard and the sub hilt. And then look at this handle. It is, it, it's boxy. It's really, really boxy. Hold on, I got to get a better look at the grip. So look at this thing. So you have a weird, one, two, three, four, five pieces, five separate pieces, which means if anything loosens here, now everything is going to loosen from here back. So right here you have a little piece of tang, and then from here to here, the it, it, the um, the rat tail looks like this. It curves. So I am not a fan at all of that rat tail. I am not a fan of that boxy um, that boxy grip. You can see how wide it is. Like it's just really wide. But I don't know what's going on with that. It, it just see how this too is a, they're off. It just doesn't look right. This is square. If you're going to not bring the blade all the way back, um, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe round it off a little bit. Unless it's, you know, if I was going to mimic the design, if I wanted to pay homage to that, I would do it. But I really wanted a better knife. I really wanted a better knife. But there's just two points. This point right here, I think, is ugly. I think that he would have done himself a way better service to bring that all the way through. I mean, that right there, I just don't understand that. It does nothing. It's nothing appealing for the look. 
And then to have this here and then this, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just needed, I needed a fresher looking grind. That being said, I get back to here. I mean, that point right there where it's going to drop, it's going to be so beautifully put together. Um, and then just here, you see how I angled that top piece to put it away. Everything has to flow. It's got to be magical to the eye, man. The guard, simple. Just make it simple. It just has to work. It doesn't have to be this big gaudy thing. So this right here is going to be my predator knife. I literally just sent the design um, this morning over to my guy Lim over at the Cougar House. So I'll wait to see what he says. Um, but I, I think he's going to absolutely just be on fire with this thing. Um, this is going to be a big one. This is going to be a, I mean, not just size. I mean, it's going to be an awesome blade. This is going to be one of those got to have it knives. And you're going to see when I do have it done and I start swinging that thing, man, that's drool worthy right there. The thing is going to look crazy cool. So the katana, the folder from Croco Knives. The Predator, which, oh man, as soon as I get more information on, um, well, or as soon as I hear back from Lim, we'll, we'll get an idea what's going on with that, and I'll let you know when it gets started, um, because I really want this to be the next one. Uh, we'll go, but coming up in February, what, what did I say, the 24th, is that what it was? Um, let's, let's look again, let's look again, just to make sure, but I think it was the 24th. Uh, do, 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 for the release on the Yakuza's Revenge. I'm telling you, this thing is it, it, our first one together, and it's it's going to be awesome. Freaking awesome. So yeah, February 24th um, is the release for the Yakuza's Revenge. Prepare yourselves. Get ready for it. Um, I'm, I'm super psyched, man. I am super psyched. A big zombie swinging... Uh, wakizashi yeah that's everything i've ever wanted so gonna be awesome uh thanks for sticking with me uh, i'm going to get out of here i have to run to the store and get some fruit and vegetables fill those up hi i'm donnie b all day till next video